Hi, I'm Craig Rice. And since 1980, I've been able to be part of a great business, the car business. When I started selling in 1980, I sold Hondas and Toyotas, went on to sell Porsche, Audi, Jaguar, Volkswagen, Mazda. I loved it. One of the things I learned early was that people buy from people that they like, trust, respect, or admire. When I took my first F&I job in 1985, I walked into a store that hadn't had an F&I manager in four months. I was able to turn that store around, gain the trust of the salespeople so that they would turn the deals to me so I could, in turn, get their deals financed and make money for them, as well as the dealer. When I took my second F&I job, the problem that I was hired to solve was my relationships with the lenders. I didn't have a problem, but the, the F&I manager before me had a serious problem with lying to the lenders. Like, trust, respect, or admire, I was able to gain the trust of all of my lenders, and I was very successful in that organization. Consequently, I was recruited by an F&I company. They knew of my reputation. They wanted to bring me in. They had me travel throughout the country. I got along great with people in New Jersey, with Texas, western part of Virginia. I was able to communicate with people and help them do their job a little bit better. When that company decided to go out of business, my boss and another co-worker of mine decided to start our own company. We started the Providence Group. To this day, that company is very successful. Using those same attributes, we were able to sign a number of dealers in the hundreds. But as an owner of that business, in 1992, my father came to me and said, I need somebody that knows the car business. I can teach you the advertising business. So I went to work with my father, something I'd wanted to do for a long time. It's that family thing that, that we wanted to explore to see if we could make it work. And we did. We were very successful. I was hired without a client, and within two years, I had seven dealership groups that I was working with all over the middle part of the United States, Virginia, North Carolina. We were successful until 2015. That's when I decided the run was over and I had enough. I wanted to look at doing some other things where I could share my experiences with some younger people, train them in ways that would help them and benefit them as I was trained as I came forward. This is something I like to do. Since I was in seventh grade, I wanted to be a teacher. And I believe if I'm hired at ES3, I'm going to be able to train and teach those younger salespeople and even some older salespeople about some things they don't know. And that's what I'm hoping to do.